I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. I don't really know where to start. This isn't gonna be a long video because it's only a four game slate, but you know the highlight of the video is is not gonna be the fucking slate. Fuck the slate. The highlight of this video is gonna be the news that we got before a lot about John T. Porter being investigated for betting on his own games. Specifically betting the unders on his own game. Specifically specifically betting the unders on the game where he was highly popular and he started. I think he started. Yeah, he started. And he went out with an illness a couple of minutes into the game. And I told you that shit was for Gazy. I went on a whole rant about it. And I didn't even play him because my gut told me some shit was about to happen. It's set up. It's set up right there for you. It's like it's like bowling pins. It's set up right there for you. Player spot starting. He's dirt cheap. The industry is talking about playing him for fantasy or their prop bets. They know everybody's going over, expecting a big game. They go under. It's so fucking easy. How many times do I say how hard is it for them to get their cousins or their friends to just bet the under and then... They leave the game with an injury or, or, or the famous one, go into the locker room and just don't come back. This is a fucking problem. Listen, it's not even a fucking problem. This is, this is, this is a disaster. And the only reason they're saying something is because eyes are, eyes are, eyes are on Major League Baseball and Otani. So basketball is trying to. He's the scapegoat. You're going to fucking tell me that you're he's the only guy that you found out was betting on his own games. When we all know players are betting on their own games every single day, we know this. He's just a scapegoat. But I ain't going to lie to you. I'll be honest with you. I thought about this before, I, before I'm going to say it. He should be banned from the league. He should be banned from the league permanently. He should be fined a hell of a lot of money. Right? He should go to jail. Right? Right? You with me? Follow along. And for every person that put out a John Tay Porter bet that day, or whatever whatever and, and whatever other days they find that he bet on himself, full refund. FanDuel, DraftKings, fucking prize picks, fucking Caesars books, whatever the fuck it is. If you bet on John Tay Porter, you should get your fucking money back. Nothing, not nothing less of that. No, I don't want to hear nothing less of that. Because when some fugazi shit goes on in these games and these players are ruled out after lock or whatever the fuck or don't come back after ha- halftime, especially DraftKings and Fanduel talk about oh we, we have a policy that um what do they say they say oh um yeah. When this happens, it benefits players that didn't play him. And sometimes you might be on the positive side of that also. So we can't pay you out. We can't return your entry fee. You know what? If somebody bet on John Tay Porter for that game that he's been being investigated for and they find him guilty, they should give everybody their fucking money back no matter where the bet was put. Fantasy, bets, whatever. I don't give a fuck what it is. Yahoo, I don't care. That's the bare minimum. Then I want a fucking long written apology from fucking Adam Silver. That's what the fuck I want. I want accountability. Because they, they sit up there and watch you spend your well-earned money, right? Betting on these players for fantasy and for bets. Knowing damn well they already know the outcome before the game starts. That's a crime. Everyone involved should be in jail. <laughs> I'm not, you know, it's funny because... You keep fucking around with people's money like that, worse things will happen. I don't want to say this on YouTube, but you keep robbing people out of their money and scamming people out of their money. At some point, something bad's going to happen because we all know we're being scammed. You know what I'm saying? John T. Porter, yeah, he's the fucking tip of the iceberg. He's the low-hanging fruit. So NBA can say, oh, we had a guy and we got him out of here. That's all that. That's all this is. All of a sudden, they're investigating MLB and Otani. Oh, we found somebody betting on it. Come on, cut that shit out. Better get the rest of them. Better get the rest of them. Better get fucking Keon Ellis. 
Better get the rest of these fucking geeks. Tobias Harris. All these guys that forget how to play basketball. I'm not beat. I'm not fucking beat. Get all of them. Get them out the league. Get them out the league. Fuck out of here. What 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 is, what is this? This is like this can't be real. This can't be real. I told somebody a couple of days ago, like, yo, they're gonna grab an NBA player real soon. They said no, they're not. I said yes, they are because of Otani. They're gonna grab an NBA player. Look, within days they got Porter. All the all this all the security they have, all the eyes in the sky, all the data, all the security they have. And they not finding out this guy's betting on his own games? Cut it out. Miss me with that. I know a lot better than that. <sighs> I don't even want to talk about this fucking slate. To be honest with you. This shit is one big fucking joke. My thumbnail should be a fucking picture of the Riddler. Because this shit is a fucking joke. It's a joke. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. You do have certain teams that take this shit seriously. And they go to win and compete. But there's a lot of players, especially on these bad teams, and a lot of young guys not making money. They're batting on themselves. I told I told y'all this shit for two weeks straight. I told y'all this shit for two weeks straight. They're, they're having their family members bet their unders. That shit don't. That shit is not a fucking. You don't need a professor to see this shit. You don't need a fucking crystal ball to see this shit. But the problem is we're using our hard hard earned money to bet on, on predetermined outcomes. This shit is fucking wrestling. This shit is professional wrestling. That's a crime. This is a crime. What's happening? John T. Porter should never play a game. This guy should be in jail. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. The fucking NBA is a fucking... Let me, let me, let me wrap this video up. Because I don't have nothing positive to say about the fucking NBA. Because they knew this shit was happening. And they're not, they weren't going to say anything. Until the Otani shit happened. <sighs> we got Luca. We got Luca up top at 12.7. I'm not even supposed to be talking this much, but. I get that off my chest. Cause what the fuck is happening? Luca twelve point seven. He's in play. Got to find value. Another thing before we even talk about this shit. What's up with all the? You know, I, I I know we get like, I know we get like starting lineups coming out late. But last night was ridiculous. First of all, all the starting lineups were changed. They pulled the okie doke. Every team pulled the okie doke with their bullshit starting lineups. The whole world thought the whole world the whole world played Lonnie Walker. You know why? Because he was optimal. The whole world played him. Fifty percent owned in every contest across America. Well, he crashed and burned, to say the least. It's a it's a whole it's a fucking game. This shit is a game. You don't think they knew Lonnie Walker was fucking popular? You don't think they knew that? John T. Porter knew what what it was. You don't think every you don't think somebody from the Nets knew what it was. Yeah, I knew he missed a couple shots. I know he was on the court. He missed a couple shots, but you really thought he was out there to fucking go out there and and, and, and go crazy. Oh my God, Luca twelve seven find value and play him. SGA do the same ten point two. I prefer I prefer SGA because he's matchup proof and he's cheaper. Kyrie Irving's in play against Sacramento. Dame Dollar should go off against the Lakers, but I think the Lakers are going to win. Um, Fox is an okay play. Steph Curry against Miami, tough matchup. Miami's been really holding people. Um, he's been hold Miami's been holding people's fantasy points down, so I don't really want to fuck around with Miami, to be honest. Their pace is slow. They play good defense. That's not a good um, recipe for um, fantasy points. McCollum has been solid all year. D'Angelo Russell is absolutely in play. Um, Austin Reeves, 7K. They're both in play. I can't believe that 
these two guys play with AD and LeBron, they still hit value some nights. Unreal. But that's where all the production comes from, those four guys. It's easy to roster the Lakers. You're just playing those four guys and maybe Hachimura on the late slate. Um, Rozier, if he's your last man in, fine. Giddy, you know his minutes are like up and down. Paul, not really interested in. Pazemski, 5K, he's okay. Dana Witty had a career night for the for this season. Don't need him if he's not starting. But if he's your last man in, fine. Maybe he got his confidence back. Listen, I'm playing Keon Ellis right now on a late slate. And this motherfucker better fucking pull his weight. Because he had like fucking 50 fantasy points Sunday or whatever day it was. And now the very next game, he forgot how to play ball. Listen, I'm not with this shit. I'm not with it. I'm not with it. I'm not with it. These guys are professional athletes. See what I was saying? I was like, yo, these guys, these guys aren't that, these guys aren't bad. Like, you're not going to be off for one day and then spectacular the next. They're laying the fuck down. I've been saying this shit. Oh my God. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know what, you know what John Tay Porter said to get out of that game? He said his eyeball hurts. Yeah. We're going to see you in prison, buddy. More than your eyeball is going to hurt, you fucking bitch. All right, who else is here? Keon Ellis. Um, his value, his value is dependent on his production Monday night. If he mails it in tonight, Monday, I'm never playing him again. Not even on a late slate. I'd rather play fucking Jeff Hardy. Fuck that. I know his name's not Jeff, but you get my point. I'd rather play anybody but fucking. Keon Ellis, if, if he's going to mail it in again. You're starting on the fucking Sacramento Kings. And you forget how to play ball. But then on a, on a, on a, on a slate where nobody's looking at you, then you go and drop fucking 40 real life. Man, kiss my ass with this shit. It's, look, the jig is up. It's like, this like Scooby-Doo. You know, at the end of Scooby-Doo, the jig is up and everybody finds out who's who. The shit is up. Cut the shit, bro. Because people ain't going to take it lightly that y'all motherfuckers are laying down. Stealing their money. I'm telling you somebody's gonna react. That's all I got to say about that. Let's go to shooting guard. I'm feeling it, yo. I, I don't even want I can't even say what I want to say. Um Malik Monks in play, Trey Murphy, six four. Clay Thompson, you could take a shot on on, on a short slate. Beasley might have some type of revenge in his heart against the Lakers. Fire him up. No, no Tim Hardaway Jr. for me. No Axum for me. No Kaysan Wallace. No Chris Duarte. No fucking Moody. No Jeff Hardy. No Matt Hardy. None of these motherfuckers. Let's go to small forward. Braun Braun is always in play. Listen, these guys are on. A, these guys are trying to keep their place in the playing. You're gonna get. You're gonna get hard played games from. Brought from the Lakers. This is the best time to play him. Fire up Braun Braun. Butler, you could take a shot. Middleton, if he's not on a limit. Herbert Jones is always in play. Wiggins is in play at his price. Hawkins Jr., no thank you. Barnes, he's another one. Najee Marshall is in play. Dort, if you no, I don't want to play Dort. Fuck Dort. He does, sometimes he doesn't even start the second half. I'm not with all that goofy shit. If you're a starter, play starter minutes. If you if you're a starter and you can't play starter minutes, go fucking do something with yourself. If you are new here, welcome. Appreciate you taking the time to watch my video on a four game slate. I know it's a lot of ranting, but it's very warranted. If you play DFS, you know the shit we've been dealing with for the past, especially the past two three weeks. It's been very awful with the cheating and the scamming. If you need me to help you out with lineups, if you don't have time to wait for news, like how last night was with all the news trickling in and it was just all fucked up starting lineups. If you don't have time to deal with all that shit and you want me to send you my finalized optimal lineups, I can do that. Check out my pa Patreon link in the description. We have the regular NBA tier, which is just the main slate. We have the all NBA tier where we do early slate, slate, slate showdowns. We have the MLB, MLB tier. We have the MLB slash NBA tier for people that play both every day that's the hardcore dfsers you have pga mma we have every sport um i'm not gonna sit here and tell you like oh yeah 
we 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 cash. You know, we we have take. I'm not gonna do all that shit. Just if you if you hear me, if you listen to my videos, you know I know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's free to join the Patreon. Then if you want to cross over to any of the tiers, you can absolutely. So jump in, tap in, and come get some of this money. Um. Super chats are open on YouTube. Channel memberships are open on YouTube. And the gold channel membership does get you lineups also. Alright, let's wrap this shit up. Because. Gosh. Yo, I can't even say what I want to say. Ooh. Okay, Giannis, 11-3. Um... I know Giannis is gonna go go crazy against the Lakers. Everybody does. I don't know what's the point, but everybody does. You could fire him up. You could take AD for a thousand less. Zion's been playing well. They have nobody to stop him in OKC. I can see him going ham. Jalen Williams is in play. Kaminga, Draymond, Portis. All in play. Keegan Murray is sometime ish. Sometimes he plays good. So you know what? He's another motherfucker that needs to be investigated. Cause some days he drops fifty fantasy points, the other nights he drops four. Like, bro, you we seen you play. We know you're good. So what's happening? They need to invest you know what? I'm about to i I'm about to fucking send 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 some paperwork to fucking to fucking Congress. I'm about to do some shit. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not feeling this shit. PJ Washington's an okay play, but I don't play him. I don't play anybody from Dallas except Kyrie or Luka anymore. They just don't get enough touches to do anything. Um, Jovic, no thank you. Derek Jones, no thank you. The rest of these guys are pretty much unplayable. It's going to be hard to get to Luka without real value on a four-game slate. You know what I'm saying? Um... So bonus is in play, 10.5. Bam, bam, 8.3 in play. He has nobody to stop him against in Golden State. Chet, you could take a shot. He's in play. Gafford, if you're desperate, he's your last man in fine. I probably prefer Bobby. No, nah, it doesn't matter. They're the same bunch of idiots. Brooke Lopez, you could take a shot. Hope that he gets 10 blocks. But Brooke, but Gafford could give you 10 blocks also. So there's no real difference between Gafford and, and, and Lopez. Lopez probably plays more minutes. So yeah, give me Gafford. I'm sorry, give me Lopez. And he shoots threes. Give me Lopez, 5.4. Trace Jackson is, is in play if he's healthy. Valen Junis is unplayable. Lively, no thank you. Hayes, no thank you. You just might as well play Larry Nance. He's going to play starter minutes. Since fucking Valen Junis is just their bitch. I don't even, he, should just, he should just go home and don't come back. That's what the fuck he should do. Who else is here? I don't think there's anybody else here. Listen. I'm done. I'm just... I don't have no words. Listen, I'm going to go in and get out of here. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see who else gets caught up in this fucking... Fucking... Investigation extravaganza. Listen. Don't forget to sub subscribe. Hit the bell. Thumbs up the video. Check out the Patreon link in the description if you need me to send you finalized optimal lineups. Super chats are open. Channel memberships are open. Gold memberships get you lineups. Hope you had a profitable Monday. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to tell you. I, I'm, I'm, what I'm sorry for is that we all been getting scammed and just... There's no one to talk to, no one no one to run to, just bend over and just take the fucking cucumbers in our ass. But I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao.